So what's up? What's going on everybody? Welcome to JA News. Salute to you for tuning in. So over the weekend, we had some interesting developments take place here in the world of sneakers. It looks like we got more Kobe's on the way. Nike's big problem just got a whole lot worse. Plus we're talking the latest over at Yeezy. All right, so let's go ahead and kick this week off strong. I need everybody's support. Make sure y'all get behind me and smash that like button. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any updates. You can catch JA News weekdays, Mondays through Friday. So we got a first look here at the upcoming Kobe Pro Tro 8. This is the triple white colorway, obviously. So this first look here comes courtesy of Instagram leak account knowing kicks which uh i don't know about y'all but this account right here definitely has like the worst on feet looks or whatever but i can't complain at least we have a early look at these joints right here which are rumored to be releasing for kobe day which is uh, august 24th so that day comes one day after kobe's birthday and the 24 obviously represents his number with the lakers so i'm looking at this pair right here as a great opportunity, you know, for Nike to right all of their wrongs, you know, looking back at the last Kobe release and all previous Kobe drops as of recent, it seems as though Nike just simply doesn't make enough pairs. And it looks like a lot of these pairs go to resellers, which leads Kobe fans and sneakerheads. They just want to enjoy these sneakers, you know, having to hit the secondary market where prices are looking really crazy for these joints so i'm looking at this as a great opportunity being is that it's a triple white colorway it's simple it's plain it's great for everyone i'm looking at this as the perfect chance for nike to just go ahead and mass produce these pairs that way all of the kobe fans and sneakerheads can enjoy and a quick update on a big 2024 jordan 1 release so originally it was believed that we were going to be getting a metallic red jordan 1 but apparently it's a metallic burgundy so red burgundy doesn't really matter apparently the backstory on this pair is that this is one of the more rare og jordan 1 so it looks like this will be a great release to kind of kick off next year and i believe this will be in that jordan 1 high 85 series i'm not really sure on that but based off the origin and history and the cut i would definitely believe that it would be and speaking of jordan ones we got the spidey joints dropping this weekend and then next month we got the tiana taylor a rose from harlem's dropping so in my opinion when i first saw these i thought these looked great and for a jordan one i feel like fans of this model should definitely gravitate towards these just like y'all did with the off-white ones but apparently based off the internet y'all hate these pairs now tiana herself she's already beginning to roll out you know on social media as you see gifting pairs to various celebrities like lil wayne as well as uh khaled of course and then i saw like a little photo shoot that she did with her grandparents so she's trying her best you know to build up the hype for this drop but it just seems as though people aren't really feeling these like that i don't really know why i feel like they look cool um she did a little something different here plus a rose from harlem i love the album so we're about a month away from the drop when these pairs actually release do you feel like they're gonna sell out really quick because if they don't i feel like it won't be a success for this collab and this may be just a one-off for tiana taylor and jordan brand which i feel like is a bad look for the culture and nike they got a huge problem they tried to brush this under the rug the first time but now it's back to bite them 10 times worse so of course we're talking nba star john moran i'm sure you guys have seen the news everywhere he's been caught now for the second time flashing a gun on ig live and uh first and foremost you know I'm gonna just say I'm no holier than thou. At that young age, I was doing dumb stuff myself, but keep in mind, bruh is a millionaire, so he definitely has to move differently. So the first incident happened just like about a month or so ago. Mind you, this was right before the debut of his Nike Ja One. So Nike had a lot of money invested. They had the whole rollout planned for this drop. So I feel like it was an easy decision to just kind of brush it under the rug, but now, it looks like things are 10 times worse this time. The Grizzlies have already issued a suspension. It looks like the league is gonna step in this time and sneakerheads, we're waiting to see Nike's response this time. So now it looks like after they've recouped some of their money from the Ja Ones, I could see Nike this time, you know, easily rinsing their hands from this whole situation and dropping this young man 
all together. So I hope it doesn't play out like this and I'm wishing the best for all parties involved. And as for Yeezy, so sneakerheads, we're still happy about the great news from last week that Adidas is planning to sell some of that remaining Yeezy inventory. So, so many great pairs to look forward to. And it looks like the next step is we're just waiting on that official word from Adidas on what is the first release and how that pair is gonna drop. And the rumor has it that the first drop could potentially be the 350 V1 pirate black and og that i could definitely you know add to my collection so i thought it would be cool to share this image right here this could be some potential of some of that unreleased yeezy inventory that we have forward to look forward to here so this picture came from twitter so it popped up you know on my timeline courtesy of master chef ian you know his name has been ringing some bells for some controversy as of recent here in the sneaker world. So it looks like this was a repost saying, y'all seen these white Yeezy slides yet? So the image comes courtesy of X Notorious Thugs on Twitter. And simply here, you got the white Yeezy slide. Now this pair was rumored to be in production as early as last year, I believe I reported on it. So it's kind of cool to see them now. And uh, this is more of just that potential, you know, unsold Yeezy inventory right here. While a white pair of Yeezy slides isn't too exciting, you know, to see, but I feel like it's a great color to add to the collection. And you can't go wrong with a white pair of slides, especially for the summer of 23 coming up. And as for Ye, it looks like he was out and about celebrating the good news as it looks like bro was in high spirits out spotted with his wife. Now, what's up with this fit right here, y'all? The, the outfits are getting crazier and crazier. So everybody's favorite leggings are back, but this time we have an interesting new set of accessories. So apparently he has on some type of like shin pads. So after doing some further research, it looks like these are exactly that. This is commonly worn, I guess, in like kickboxing or something like that. Uh, on the top though, that top is really cool because it looks like this is an evolution of that same Umbro top that we spoke about previously. Same cut, same shape, same uh, similar neck collar area, um, but it looks like this time we have a new material which appears to be some type of leather looking material. I can't really point it out right here. Um, and then he also has the little side pouch because I, I guess the leggings, you know, don't have any pockets or whatever. <laughs> so the fit is very interesting. I could say that uh, he's definitely given like superhero, like Star Wars type of vibes right here. So uh, my man's is on a whole nother planet Matter of fact, in a whole nother year, this is like that 2050 type of drip right here. So could you see yourself rocking something like this right here? Again, it looks like we got the sock shoes on again. So uh, I guess this is the new Yeezy drip, but I feel like what's even cooler about this is that Ye is assembling the Avengers once again, as he was spotted right here with designer Mawa Lola, and you guys know, she's definitely one of the hottest in the game currently. And if you recall back when we got that first original Yeezy Gap announcement, Mawa Lola was um, actually announced as the creative director for that partnership. So this is really cool, man. I mean, Ye is assembling the army, the recruitment. Uh, he got Mawa Lola. So things are looking bright, and I know our guy is cooking. Also, we had a Sunday service on Sunday, so they had the link posted yeezylive.com. Um, we had some guest appearances from some cool people like Saiha the Prince was there, you know, which is known to be a great uh, music collaborator for Ye. You know, he was there in attendance with this interesting white getup right here, looking real Jedi-ish, if I must say so myself. So it's just good to see our guy, you know, in great spirits. It's good to know that he's working and behind the scenes, definitely cooking up the next wave for everybody to love and enjoy. So regardless of what you have to say about the man's attire, you just gotta say that everything that he's done, his track record is solid. Every brand that he's ever partnered with, you know, he has made the stock rise and he's gonna continue to push the culture forward, you know, with innovation and design. So I'm excited to see, you know, what we have in store from our guy, Ye, I'm sure every day you know a new update is going to come about so make sure you guys are subscribed to ja news we're going to wrap up today's show right here so make sure you guys drop your feedback if you haven't done so yet like the video so we're going to wrap things up here salute to everybody for tuning in stay safe stay blessed and i'm out y'all love